Congratulations. Thank you. Did you come here hoping to win three events or expecting to win three events? I came expecting to win three events. Uh, I know obviously it's hard. But you know, I do I do all these wins because I love to do them, and I definitely came in here wanted to start Wednesday off with a win and long jump, and I knew that momentum would cover, carry over to today. Because you won the long jump before, was that your most important event, quote unquote, or um, are you taking them one at a time? I take them one at a time. You know, I put my focus whichever event I'm on. If I'm at the long jump, I'm focusing just on the long jump, and so you know, I treat them all with the respect that they, they deserve, and I treat all my competitors with the respect they deserve, and I just go out and give it my all every event. Well, did, did winning the long jump give you momentum into the 100, then the 100 into the 2? Uh, it didn't give me as much momentum as I wanted. You know, I came into today a little sore. I think the 4 by one gave me the momentum I needed for my other two events. You know, it, it served as a warm-up for today. Got my legs loose, and I was just able to carry over. What was your thought at the end of the 100? Did you think you had won right, uh, when you came across? Uh, I know I had a good chance, you know, after my drive phase. I stood up in the wind, hit me in my face real hard. And I started to struggle a little bit, but I remember my coach told me, you know, just stay relaxed and uh, your race will come at the end. And, it, and that's exactly what happened. Is there anything that you're most proud of what you accomplished here? Oh, man, I'm, I'm proud of everything I've done. You know, just, just <laughs> amazing. Just come out here and win three events and do it. Putting the same sentence as Jesse Owens, man, I'm just thankful to God for it. Did you almost celebrate a little too early in the 200? Or did, or did you I didn't. You had... I uh, felt I had a comfortable yeah. lead. Uh, I'm surprised I ran that fast. You know, I was a little tired before it. Just a little fatigue, legs fatigue. But uh, God put me through it. So do you give up the sprints, quote unquote, now for the trials? Or I'm doing all three at the Olympic trials. Well, this wasn't just for team points. Yes, sir. Was, this was, was it kind of a prep for the trials? It was definitely a preparation. I know the 200 would be way after the 100 and long jump. And my 100 and long jump, just like last year, kind of work hand in hand. They're usually right beside each other in time. So, you know, it, it serves me great to do both of them all at the same time. We won't have to warm up again for anyone. Did you win your first outdoor long jump as a freshman? No, uh, this was actually my first outdoor long jump. Oh, right. Jump too. But you were, I won some, my sophomore year indoor. There you go. But I'm so. thinking, you know, did that ever put any pressure, quote on you, quote unquote, expectations? Just, Here's a new young prospect. He's going to do great. That kind of thing. Or did you even, you know, you just try to do your best in every meet or what? Um, I think it put a little pressure on me. And at the time as a sophomore, you know, I kind of let the hype get to me a little bit, felt a little comfortable. Didn't make it to outdoor that year, but I had to bounce back, and I got two runner-ups last year. And this year, I was able to cap my last year off with two champs. Maybe. Now, this is uh, your first year seriously running the 200, and you win the NCAA title. Uh, how do you uh, react to that? I mean, it's not, you know, quote-unquote um, your primary event. It wasn't my primary event, but, you know, me and Coach sat down in the fall season. You know, we felt that I could run a fast 200 time, given that last year was my first time running 100. And I was able to get third with a uh, 990 win. We end dated. And, uh, he just told me to come out here, you know, get 200s under my belt, uh, get used to the race, and we'll be ready for it in Nationals. So. What was, you know, Arkansas has had a great jumping tradition in the long and the triple, but, uh, you know, was that something that you wanted to be able to carry on as well? I did, you know, I wish I would have been able to get one of my scratches out there on Wednesday. You know, I wanted to jump into the elite outdoor, you know, record holders uh, like Mike Conley and all them up there, but, you know, Thankful to be second on the indoor list, and I believe I'm sixth on the outdoor list, so, you know, I can't ask for anything else. Looked like in the 200 here today, uh, you weren't leading coming out of the turn, but then you had a real good, uh, strong second 100. Uh, yes, is sir. that the case? You just finished uh, stronger than everyone else? Oh, yes, sir. You know, uh, just like my head coach told me, Coach Buck, he said, uh, take pride in your last 100 of the 200. Mm -hmm. You're a 400-meter runner. We uh, run you on the 4x4 relay all the time, so just show your strength at the end. And that's what I did today. Do you kind of train like a 400 meter guy, so you've got good strength? That's a good question. I don't know how I train. I just go to practice and do what I'm told to do. <laughs> Have you ever won those three events at a meet before? I haven't. And this is my uh, actually just this is just my third time doing all these uh, events at one track meet, SECs, regionals, and here. Between now and the trials, do you feel like are there any of those three events you're going to have to focus on more than the others? Um, I don't think so, you know. Just like I said earlier, I'm going to try and treat them all equally. Uh, just take one event at a time, focus on wherever I'm at, and then switch it over whenever I have to go to another event. Three out of eligibility? Yes, sir. This is my senior year. So you thought ahead about 
competing professionally in that or just uh, I thought focused? about it but we'll have to see you know how it all works out uh, right now you know I'm just focused on the trials how, how do you feel uh, physically uh, you're in I feel pretty good. I felt uh, worse this morning, but you know, after finishing all my events and getting my legs a little loose, I guess, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Nice outcome, coach. Too, yes, sir. That makes it even better. Yeah, really. Who was your sprint coach? Uh, our sprint coach is Douglas Case uh, and Travis Gifford, which is also my job coach. Well, right. He's the field event guy. Well, yeah, he like does some yeah. of my workouts. They work together. So. Well, obviously. So they obviously work well in prepping you. Yes, sir. They're the, they're the perfect duo, and I just feel like we have the perfect circle around us from those two coaches to our uh, to my trainer staff, Cole, Deanna, Mark, and all the way to our weight coach, MC. Do you, you ever hear from any of the past Arkansas greats like Conley or... I don't. Uh, I always have. I always bump in the car, Lewis. Oh, we have a few words to each other, you know, <laughs> just nice, kind of words. Uh, wishing me good luck for the track meet. I would say he went to wrong school. Yes, sir. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you.